uh, I always um, loved to win. I think one of the things I did have was a very good coach. He had a very good style. Uh, he taught that to me at a very early age. Uh, I think sometimes looking at youngsters today, you can take a good athlete and make them a champion, but unless they have a very good coach and good style, that will, that will hold them back. And I think that was where I was very fortunate. And I think at an early age, I, was, I learned to serve and volley. I, I played with the men, they let me play with them. So I just played like them, it was just natural to me. And I think that's why I enjoyed it. I used to love going out and playing doubles, and some of the men had asked me to play singles, and I thought I had to play like them. Uh, and uh, I had that freedom to do that. And I think that helped me tremendously. I had to leave home uh, when I was 15 years of age, went down to Melbourne. Very fortunate that Frank Sedgman, who was one of our old-time greats, won Wimbledon, played Davis Cup for Australia. He allowed me to go to Melbourne. Uh, and I went down there, lived with his family, uh, trained in the gymnasium. Women back in those times did not go into the gym because I was very skinny as a child, very thin. He thought, well, I had to be built up. So I used to go into the men's gym five mornings a week before the men. So I would lift weights and do circuit training, and I loved all that. And uh, I was fortunate when he wasn't on tour playing a professional circuit back then, um, that if he was home he would hit with me. I had a very good coach in Melbourne, um, and so my whole life was centred around Melbourne, uh, tennis, uh, I had vision, I had goals, and I was going for what I loved.